you good people out there, welcome to another edition of WWE Supercar with me, Big Jim, playing solo once again. And it's felt a bit like that the last couple of days because his boy's been at school, his mum's been away for the week, so it's been a little tricky trying to find the time to not only make the videos, but to edit the videos for you guys. And chucking on top WWE Supercard, throwing in a team event as well. There's no time to live and breathe! No time to live and breathe. But here we are. So let's have a quick update and see how things are going. Well, uh, as you would expect, I'm doing a couple of King of the Rings, Season 2 and Season 1. But there's an important thing connected with Season 1. I've set up a King of the Ring without my Survivor uh, Classy Freddy Blassie fusion card and without my Survivor Pro Nikki Bella. And the reason for that is... I am going to put one of them into a WrestleMania fusion chamber right now. I thought about this. Now, as some of you who followed our videos will have seen, we have carried on doing some um, Season 1 fusions. And I've got quite uh, a nice little collection of WrestleMania fusions going. We've got the Rock Pro. There's uh, Hulk Hogan, the man whose name must never be spoken in terms of WWE, staring at you right there. I've actually made my avatar in uh, Game 1. Uh, their pros, as you can see, also have, uh, oh yeah, the macho man, Randy Savage. Does anyone actually say Randy Savage's name without going, oh yeah, at some stage during the course of the sentence? I don't, I don't think they do. Um, but what would be nice would be to get a Classy Freddy Blassie WrestleMania, because I've, I've had the Survivor card for some time, and I kind of feel I can't do without him uh, in the squad. Now the reason why I'm feeling brave uh, enough to chuck Nicky into the fusion chamber is I have a single page, I have a single Natalia, I have a single Eve, I have a single Nikki who was my last King of the Ring uh, WrestleMania reward. So I've got a feeling, you know, it can't be far away from getting uh, a pro like uh, Bree already is. Now, I, obviously, Bree is in my A team lineup, and I'm just at the moment, at present, I swap her out with, uh, with Nikki. But in this. Um, WrestleMania uh, King of the Ring that I've started here without Freddie Blassie and without uh, uh, Nikki. I've got this Survivor card. Now I have to say, she's pretty weak in the grand scheme of things, AJ. It's good to see AJ back in the game, by the way. Uh, albeit that she never left Season 1. But it's nice to actually still have an AJ card to play with. Um, so what I've, I've actually been doing is I've been using some energies. You can see I've got one energy left. And leaving... Uh, Nikki, sorry, Bree, in place, and seeing how I got on without Nikki. And my, my rationale is, I am going to get another WrestleMania Diva Pro at some stage. I'm very unlikely to get another Fre Freddie Blassie, Classy Freddie Blassie. So what would be great to come out of this fusion chamber would be to get a Classy Freddie Blassie WrestleMania, uh, and then I could uh, chuck in the, the Survivor version into the fusion chamber as well, without any fears. So let's get on. With the action, and do a little bit of the fusion chamber with Long John Silver and the Pirates down there in the fusion chamber. I know there's a lot of people who've not seen these videos before, got no idea why I talk about Long John Silver and the Pirates in the fusion chamber. Well, you'll have to have a look at uh, all those videos in the past, see what you can find out. Let James Mason be your guide through season one and uh, find out why I pay reference to Long John Silver and the Pirates in the fusion chamber. Uh, right, where is the fusion chamber? Here it is. Fusion chamber! I haven't forgotten it, Jim lad. The fusion chamber. Fusion chamber season one. Now, um, obviously, Cat Daddy are not paying much attention to what's going on in season one anymore because they don't really care about it. So, for example, if you win a match in exhibition mode, you only get two cards if you've won 3 0. You don't get uh, three cards as you do now in season two. Uh, and also, if you look at some of these graphics, as you can see, that's an ultra rare graphic. It's an ultra-rare graphic to put in a Survivor uh, Fusion Pro. Anyway, look, enough talk. Let's get on with it. I'll tell you what, Nicky, I'm going to miss you. You've you've done some damn fine work over the uh, past 12 months, but it's time to move on for all of us. Um, so it's goodbye to her. And WrestleMania-wise, I've got plenty that I could throw in. I think I've got my eyes on uh, Bad News Barrett. can feel that gap. Survivor-wise... I've been using this Rey Mysterio and Randy Orton that I deliberately um, uh, misproed uh, just because I've been using them in lower level King of the Rings uh, subsequently. As you can see, I mean, obviously I've got uh, 
Uh, some proper pros up there still, but um, let's stick in Ray, because uh, big fan of Randy, so I like to keep Randy around for a while. Uh, Legends, it's got to be Natalia, and then a couple of Epics, which is Taker, and our nominee. So here we go. Now then, Randy Savage would give us another pro. Freddie Blassie would be great. AJ Lee would be interesting, uh, because, of course, I would then hope to try and get her next time round as well. So it gives us a few options. It might encourage me to actually play a bit more Season 1 again. What I'm trying to do is rid myself of uh, all the spare cards I've got in Season 1, apart from the special event WrestleMania cards, which I'm going to keep them as long as I can, because I've had some good fun with them. And they, there was some blood, sweat and tears shed trying to collect these guys. So, uh, you know, I don't, want, I don't want to play that down. I really do enjoy having them still to look at now and again, like little trophies. Anyway, I'm talking too much, aren't I? I could have actually told you all that whilst we were waiting the 60 seconds. Here we go. Here we go. Finish now. I wonder if. Uh, I wonder what finish now does. You can actually pay some credits to finish it because you can't wait 50 odd seconds. Oh, it's a bubbling, it's a cooking there, Long John's here on the pirates. Digging up the treasure there in a the fusion chamber. Oh, how hard. After we've done this, uh, we'll have a look at team event. And we've got some news about uh, Bad Lad Dad, the team. So we'll have a look at team event and. Um, that I suppose could do a little bit of exhibition because of course this week we now have a new PCC featuring the Unicorn King Xavier Woods and Y2J himself Chris Jericho. Now for my purposes um, it would actually suit me better to have Xavier Woods because of um, his arrow. Because his arrow goes in the opposite way to both uh, Taker Survivor um, special event card and The Ruck which we've just done. And uh, those are the two event cards that I've got. So it would be good to have something that's compatible. But here we go for possibly the penultimate WrestleMania Fusion Chamber. Let's see what we get. Claim results. And we've got... Come on up on screen. Don't let me down. It is a pro! Oh yeah, Randy Savage! Well, I can't complain at that, can I? Of all the cards it could have been, um, there was only one that I could get a pro out of. And there he is, a Randy, my man. So that's good. So I can power him up and uh, get him pro too. Uh, then it's a question of, it's sort of stick or twist, really. Do I um, do I uh, get rid of Freddie Blassie and uh, just carry on playing with the cards that I've got? Um, or do I just go, oh, hang it, that's fine. I get rid of all the spare cards, clear up some space in my inventory, and then just get on with season two. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, look, that's good news. Let's have a look then at um, Team Event. Now, Team Event, we fell short. As you can see, it's, um, it's about 360 points, something like that. Five, what would that give? 620, yeah, about 374, if my maths at the top of my head is uh, is correct. Now, uh, I have to say, good, uh, good performance from some of the guys here, uh, especially uh, Wolfie there. Asriel Great Dragon. Uh, as he is on YouTube, and uh, putting a phenomenal effort. Um, obviously, not going to congratulate myself. And uh, BB and Bucky and Thesis, and oh, there's Bildy Boys, and, and SJ as well has stepped up. But for various reasons, we are going to have a couple of places available. Now, don't get overexcited because there's going to be some criteria involved. You've got to be Survivor tier, and you've got to have at least two event cards. And I can't stress this enough. Last time we had a couple of places come available in the team. All sorts of people were applying, and I did say to you, it's got to be, it's got to be Survivor tier, and it's got to be a couple of event cards. Because obviously, uh, if we accept you on the team and you don't have those things, I'm afraid you're just going to get kicked straight back out again. Now, I haven't yet decided, because this is all fresh and new, and this obviously only ended uh, yesterday evening, I haven't yet quite decided what the little comp is to, um, is like the decider to make sure that you've qualified for your entry. So that will be in a video coming out tomorrow, which is Thursday. Today's Wednesday. So tomorrow, Thursday, will be the Join Bad Lad Dad chance to join our team. Uh, so look out for that. That's Thursday evening. So don't bother applying down below in the comments here. By all means, you can tell everyone how well you've done and who you are and everything if you want to. But it's not going to count as an entry. The proper entry will be in tomorrow's video, Thursday evening. Right, uh, now let's move on. Um, let's just have a look at um, my, car my cards. 
I've got, uh, let's get back onto the normal guys. Uh, cheers to season one guys. Hello, season two guys. As you can see now, fairly strong uh, lineup at the start here. And I've got two new uh, pros to work on, which are uh, Arusev, who was, he was given away as one of the event cards, wasn't he? Was it Road to, Road to Glory? Can't remember now. Um, so there's Rusev, which I got as a King of the Ring reward as well. And then uh, I tweeted a picture the other day. I pulled uh, Shamus off the decks. So I had another survivor pull. It was that one. Uh, this one, this one, is all statted out. So he's ready to go. So the first one I'm going to work on, because he's better than Rusev, is is this Shamus. Uh, but there's a few things um, for me to be working on for the Tommy. As you can see, I've still got an awful lot of uh, legendary pros there. I'm wondering, I'm wondering when we're going to have uh, Fusion Chamber for Season 2. Um, I, can't, I can't imagine they're going to make it too much different to Season 1 because they must have earned so much money from uh, people trying to hurry the days along to get the right level so they could get to the top-ranked Fusion uh, Chamber cards. Um, I know some are saying perhaps it could be based on how they did the loyalty fusions, where it's, it's points-based. I mean, if that was the case... I'd be uh, happy as Larry. I'd be farting for joy. Because with all these legendary pros, and I've got an awful lot of cards still knocking around in here, um, I could fuse until the cows come home. Um, and fuse myself into a frenzy. But uh, we'll have to wait to see, because obviously there's been no news yet, and it, it may be some time before they even consider introducing it. Um, we've still got um, quite a thing that's going on. Now that we don't have uh, event cards where you're doubling up each week, now it's taking you a couple of weeks to get two of the same card, um, perhaps they're deciding it's not worth doing the fusion chamber just yet. And of course, we've although I've, uh, I'm sort of getting quite a few survivor cards here, and most of these are from King of the Ring. Um, it is still fairly new-ish. Still, uh, quite a few people battling their way to survivor tier. On the note of uh, King of the Ring, I have made a separate video which I shall put up at some time over the next uh, few days on some tactics on how to win at King of the Ring. Now, uh, I get an awful lot of questions asking how I managed to get so many Survivor cards, and I, I always say to you, just chain your Survivor King of the Rings, or it doesn't matter what level you're at, just chain your King of the Rings. Now, a lot of people say, well, that's fine, but we're not getting to the knockout stage. Uh, um, you know, What are the tips? What are the things that you do? Well, I've made a video, a short video, just to show um, what's going through my head when I'm doing King of the Ring. And I've used a particular game as an example where I came up in a semi-final as Survivor King of the Ring against someone who had all the event cards. They had, um, which obviously is the Jack Swagger, there's The Rock, there's Undertaker, there's Roman Regains. He had all four of them, and I, at that stage, I only had the one, uh, which was uh, Taker. And I still beat him, 4-1 uh, or 4-1 four -one in the semi-finals. How did I do that? That's coming up in a video that you'll see very soon as well. I'm sorry to be teeing up all these videos, but uh, as I say, we've been doing quite a, uh, quite a bit in the background the last few days, but with all these team events and um, Road to Glories and everything else that's been going on, um, it's very difficult to actually sit down and take the time to edit these videos ready for you guys to digest. So, I think just to uh, finish off with, if we go into Exhibition, hopefully, oh no, I'm not buying anything, what's that all about? Get out of it. I'm not parting with any hard-earned cash. Uh, if we go to Exhibition, uh, I've just got, uh, I'm in Survivor++, Plus Plus. I'm not going to get Survivor Pool because I've just had uh, Shimus, but I'm training up this guy here, so uh, just while I chat for the final few minutes, we'll just do, uh, just do a few games. Um, now, FIFA 16 wise, uh, myself and Ninja Boy have done some Mano Ninja Boyos. We did ask for suggestions at the back end of our last uh, FIFA 16 video, so if there's a particular team you want to see us both try because what we're doing with our Mano Ninja Boyos on FIFA is we're playing as the same team, one of the home kit, one of the away kit. So we've got exactly the same players, the same lineups, uh, which makes it much more interesting because you can't say that one guy's got better players than the other. Um, now, coming into this series, I've been unbeaten. Um, I think things are about to change. In fact, I probably know things are about to change. And you can see how. The first one we've got coming up will be Leicester City, which was suggested by four people, whose names we mentioned in the video. Um, so if you've got anyone you'd like to see us uh, play, when that video comes out, which again should be within the next 24 hours, 
uh, let us know. Give us your suggestion. And we're more than happy to give it a try. Uh, all right, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? I, I did also pull out um, this uh, John Cena Charisma card, um, which has been a nice addition to my support. I'm finally getting some support cards. I'm still lagging behind desperately on the support front. Um, but we'll see how things go. We'll see how things go. Right, take it doing his job. Thank you very much. So now, um, again, uh, people say, how your power cards up so quickly? We're going to try to boost the stats. Obviously, I've won this round. It's 2 0. So power and charisma is great because you can cuff two stats at the same time. So although he'll lose, this is when you put Shumus into action. Because it doesn't matter because we're going to win this 2 1 anyway. Um, and really, your win loss record doesn't count for anything. So you could just quite happily play and just chuck any two stat. Um, challenge Shamusi's way and uh, then I'll be able to prime a Seamus fairly quickly uh, which is generally the plan so don't get too high up on your win-loss ratio uh, it does mean something to some people it means diddly squat oh look there's Azure Great Dragon there's Wolfie himself oh gotta play him gotta play him having praised the guy for uh, putting in such a great effort in our team event what are the chances of that happening eh what are the chances of that happening? Right, solo toughness. Of course, that's the one card I don't have. Uh... All right, he's beaten me uh, straight away with his take. He's a little boost. A little boost. Boost on your ticker, lad. Good Geordie, lad. Oh, right, charisma. This is now where I don't even need to play the Christmas card. Uh, char <laughs> Christmas? We've just had Christmas. Charisma card, uh, but I will do, because look at that. He's got a strong boost on his own rock, but look at that. 3,301. That's my man. That's my rock. That's my charisma boosted rock. Right, power crit. All right, he's probably going to take me here then, isn't he? Is he? Uh, yeah, he's, he's boosted. I still don't like that graphic from Brett the Hitman. Anyway, there you go, Azrael Great Dragon Lad. Good to see you. He's getting all the publicity today. Um... Right, we'll do one more. I'm glad we did that. It's not often we actually come across uh, um, our friend. I don't believe it! What is going on here? That is another Bad Lad Dad team member. This is absolutely incredible. Baka, it's good to see you, fella. This, anyone would think I was somehow tweaking this. I'm not. This is, hap this is happening live now in the Bad Lad Dad studio. Bad Lad Dad HQ. Now, I know I should be able to beat his diva, yeah. Because, of course, I know their cards from the team event. So, I know full well what they're packing. Um, oh, toughness. I still don't have a toughness card. Oh, he's blooming procked, hasn't he? Oh, damn you, backer. Right, and speed is going to have to be boosted. Let's see how we go. So, uh there we have it, a double Bad Lad Dad team. Um, a perfect score. Sorry about that, Backer. Not quite as uh, fortunate as uh, as Wolfie. Um, but I, I did kind of... Oh, there's a blooming ultra rare. What's it? I did kind of lose the uh, plot there of I'm meant to be powering up Seamus and started taking that game seriously. Well, um... Oh, don't wait on a network, please. Waiting on a network. Network, network. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Round and round she goes where she stops. Nobody knows or even cares. Winning on a network, the latest game from Cat Dedicus. Oh, there we go. Finally come through. All right, let's do one more. One more for the road. Let's see if we can pull out someone else who we know. Um, oh, there's Bakaroo again. Chance for revenge, mate. Chance for revenge. This is unreal. It's absolutely unreal to have pulled them... Uh... No. I would say I'm speechless, but I haven't stopped talking, so that, you'd kind of spot the uh, error in the assessment there, wouldn't you? Uh, right, what are we doing here, then? I think it's got to be the Ruck again. And a little charisma boost. Yeah, that should do the job. Sorry, backer. Right, solo match. I'm going to give you a chance here. I'm going to play my Shamus because that's a double status. So, uh, uh, by that I meant double stats, not status. So, right, here we go. Toughness, Charisma. Well, that's going to be the Rock. I haven't got a card to play. 
That's interesting. My rock was against his um, taker, and my taker against his rock. And I can't come through with another 2-1 win. How many more enhancements am I going to pull? Flipping egg. Right, there we go. That's enough for now, I think. Um, getting all excited on a Wednesday. Uh, especially as I've got to go and pick Ninja Boy up from uh, school fairly shortly. So, he should uh, be joining me in the next uh, episode of WWE Supercard, when we shall be asking you guys... Uh, to enter with your chance... Sorry, I'm trying to put things down with them all falling on the floor. Your chance to join Team Bad Lad Dad. Who's in Team Bad Lad Dad? Well, you've just seen Wolfie, a.k.a. Azrael Great Dragon. You've just seen Bakaroo. So you can see uh, what level they're kicking at too, and you can see they've got event cards. That's the type of people we're after. Because we want to get serious. We don't want to be at this stage again where we've all bust a gut. Um, and because, um, unfortunately, some, some lower-level people just haven't had a chance to play, we're, we're missing out on the big prizes. We want to get the big prizes. We want you to help us get the big prizes. So, keep a look out for tomorrow's video. Um, it will be announced on Twitter, but I'm telling you now, it's coming out Thursday evening. For now, this is Big Jim saying we love you, stay cool, see you tomorrow.